The 20th anniversary of Diana's untimely death is fast approaching this month, with hearts across the nation still torn from, since that tragic night on August 31, 1997. Having grown up close to each other near Sandringham, Diana and Charles knew one another very well, for many years before their engagement. Princess Diana made history on her wedding day, on July 29, 1981, being the first English woman to marry an heir to the British throne. The royal couple made their home at Kensington Palace, and then on June 21, 1982, she gave birth to little baby Prince William. Two years later on September 15, 1982, Charles and Diana welcomed their second son, Prince Harry. Diana was a prominent figurehead in the royal family, championing humanitarian causes in Africa, patrolling more than 100 charities, and worked extensively to combat the HIV and AIDS epidemic. However behind the front of her public life, in the private confines of her home, Diana's marriage was struggling to stay together. Charles was 13 years older than his wife, and the apparent age difference was taking a toll on air relationship. Thrown into the media spotlight, their marriage ultimately fell apart in the 1990s, and both assumed extramarital relationships. During an infamous BBC interview, with Martin Bashir in November 1995, Diana said, Yes, I adored him. Yes, I was in love with him. But I was very let down, by him. Just a month later Buckingham Palace revealed that the Queen personally advised Charles, and Diana to divorce. The split was finalized on August 28, 1996. Tragedy struck on August 31 a year later, when Diana suffered life-threatening injuries, in a car crash in Paris, France. The princess was rushed to La Pitié Salpêtrière Hospital, but succumbed to her wounds after two hours of emergency surgery. Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles reportedly first met in 1971, due to them living in the same social circles. After falling for each other, they had a brief relationship that was put on hold when Charles left to join the Royal Navy in 1973. Soon after the relationship fell apart. In 1980, a source close to Camilla revealed that the two had rekindled their feelings for each other after the assassination of Lord Louis Mountbatten left Charles distraught, and grieving. Over the next decade rumors of Charles' affair with Camilla, while married to Diana were heavily scrutinized, by the public and the media. The publication of Diana, her true story blew the lid on the story, and the transcript of an intimate phone call between the two in 1993, dealing another blow to Charles and Diana's marriage. Following his divorce from Diana in 1996, Charles famously stated that his relationship with Camilla was non-negotiable. Then on February 10, 2005, Clarence House announced that Camilla and Charles were officially engaged. The wedding was initially seen as problematic because Camilla was divorcee, but the Queen, the government and the Church of England gave their blessing to wed. Charles and Camilla held their royal nuptials at Windsor Guildhall in Berkshire. Marrying Charles, automatically earned Camilla the title, of Duchess of Cornwall. The mood at the time was not to name her Princess of Wales, because of how the title was emotionally connected to Diana, 